Robinson Show. Hello, it's War Baby. Hey, War Baby. Sorry to keep you waiting. Some fucked all my sounds up, so... I don't know. I don't know. You <laughs> fucked up my shit. What's up, War Baby? From Murderous... How's it going, with fellas? Good. What's Murderous up? Miners Killer Kids podcast. Yes, they're out there killing. They are. They never stop those stupid kids. They're always full of killing. <laughs> <laughs> how's the show been oh it's going really good so i've nice. uh, been super busy i've been releasing a bunch of episodes the past couple of days to get ready for halloween so that's been super fun cool uh like how often do you record that you're putting them out that fast do you record them in advance i you know i was kind of starting i've had i've been having ideas for other shows this show is bi-weekly, so I've been kind of experimenting to see how fast I can put out content, because yeah. if I can't get this show to weekly, there's no reason to have another show, you know? Yes. yes. So I was kind of just doing an experiment, and so I can pretty much bust out an entire episode in one day. Wow. And I've done it for the past couple days, so it's been well, really cool. Slim's going to call you off the show and find out how to do that. <laughs> He can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just... I'll be taking calls. We do a different animal. We do this long form exactly. show. With... Yeah, yeah. So it is, it's is—it's a completely different animal. But I love your show. And uh, like I've said last time, like it seems like it always gets better. Always gets better. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks so much. I love having complete creative control over it. That's really the best part, in my opinion. Yeah. You've been doing, like, like you mentioned, and... Uh, uh, they're like mini sods, correct? Yeah, I started out last Friday dropping like a regular sized episode um, about a kid who did a copycat killing based off the Rob Zombie movie Halloween. Of movies? And wow. I always figured like copycats were off of real silly, serial killers. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, it could be were... copycats off of anything. It's but yeah, the there's been like a huge issue, you know, over the past, I'd say, decade or so. Uh, maybe even two decades, but like about how violent content affects kids and if it can really influence people to do things, you know? So I've been kind of looking at that over the past um, couple of days. I released five episodes in six days and I'm going to drop one tomorrow. Cool. So, um, yeah. So I started with the Rob Zombie Halloween, which I found that movie to be pretty disturbing. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I, I, I know Driz saw it, right? And I loved it. Right did the Driz see it? No, I didn't see it. The Driz. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you haven't, just stay far away. It's pretty disturbing. Just the the the, the animals. It was like fuck, fuck. Just all of it. Yeah. And, you know, at some point, you're just like, why? Really yeah. though, what's the point of this? Who is this really entertaining? Like, does it need to be made? You know. Yeah. But um, yeah. it makes money, so yeah. they make it, and pe yeah. kids watch it on. You know, you can just. Turn on Netflix, it's right there. Or, you know, That's other kinds of streaming thing. services and things like that. So, yeah, this yes. kid, you know, he watched it a lot. And he watched it three times in four days. And, you know, he said it really... He said that the character of the young Michael Myers, he felt really connected to the ease that he saw this kid seem to have after he killed people. That's and he figured that he would feel the same way. But after he killed his mom and his sister... He didn't feel the same way. And he calls 911 and is explaining to the dispatcher that, you know, he thought everything was going to go really smooth and that he was going to feel really good about having killed people. But he felt terrible, obviously. And that's the thing with kids. Wow. It's like they don't they don't think ahead far enough to think maybe I'm going to feel awful about this when it's over, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because I see his movie as like, yeah, I'm an adult. I'm seeing it. Like, it, it should be allowed. It should be allowed. Wow. Yeah, and I was almost thinking, like, when you originally said it, that, like, okay, maybe this kid was already had, like, sociopathic mm. tendencies, he so just... he connected with this sociopathic imagery, but it almost sounds like that that wasn't the case, that he just, there was maybe something else in that character or that movie that he really connected with, and he thought yeah. it was the killing, Fuck. but it wasn't that. Fuck. You know, I'm not really one to ever blame any kind of mental illness for anything. But what I've learned through look, researching and doing all these episodes back to back about content is that to me, it's more like, say one day you start feeling depressed or something like that. 
you might have a tendency to search out other things that that keep you feeling that way like certain yeah. kinds of music, music. and certain yep. kinds of entertainment like so if you start to turn toward having a dark personality those are, that's the kind of entertainment you you might like but that doesn't mean it makes you do anything yeah you know i really don't think that that is at all possible unless there's some kind of hypnotic element that we don't know about but i really just don't see how it could be possible kids are impressionable and i don't too. think suing you know Sony for PlayStation games or people who, you know, the director of Scream, like suing these kinds of people aren't going to change the fact that parents need to pay more attention to their kids. Yes. Right. Yes. 100%. 100%. And I hate to always blame parents, but eh, usually their fault. Mm. You know how I feel about that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Because especially a parent that was letting this particular kid watch that movie. That... Uh, over and over again, three or four times in a row. Like, like yeah, more baby said, there's Netflix. Like, you can't always fucking know what your kids are doing. Yeah. Like, that's that's rough. Yeah, but you gotta try harder. I yeah. mean, did you yes. ever check? <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. just checking up on it. Like, you how know, many times have you watched that movie? I looked. I just look at my kids' like YouTube histories on their tablets. I'm like, yo, you're not watching this fart video again. Like, William. <laughs> like, yeah, no. Like, he's like, he, <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's some stuff. But like, I also feel like the. A child who starts to withdraw and and things like that, sometimes it's because they have the opportunity to. It's because their yes. parents already aren't paying attention. Yes. So you tend to just do more and more and more things that you can yep. until you're just doing whatever you want, and then you kill your fucking mom. Keep those kids in check I mean, or you're going to die. You know, yeah. That's not always the chain of events. I was gonna in ask... my world, my little tiny world, sometimes it is. If, if, uh, I was going to ask if... Uh... You wanted to hear the Driz sing, War Baby. I was going to have him... Mm. I was going to request if the Driz could sing a I Ain't Scared of No Kids song. Oh, I would be more than honored. <laughs> All right. He sang I, I really, sing. It might become my ringtone. <laughs> I'm going to find him a beat, too. Uh, we're going to go <laughs> hollow. that beat? Yeah, I got that beat queued up. Are you, is the Driz ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you a little bit something about when I was about like 15 or 16 and people hired me to babysit. I would babysit like four year olds, like six or seven, four year olds at a time. And you know what? They would always have like knives and they'd be like, Drew's, we're going to fucking kill you. And I was like, yo, I ain't a player, ain't a no kids. Yeah. And then they just drop the knives. That's all you got to do. You got to look those kids in the eyes and be like, yo, I ain't afraid of no kids. And they like, this motherfucker too tough. And they drop the knives. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Preach. Preach. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Tris just thinks you got to stand up. You just... in your eyes that they go crazy. Yeah, just they, you, you just got to stand up to no, those kids. I ain't afraid of you kids. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Six but of them now, with knives. Lucky like that there was an eight four-year-old. Right. That's over. That's an over overpowering amount of what, children. What about twenty-one-year-olds? <laughs> Plus, who the fuck would hire the Driz to watch their kids? Like, that's a problem right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, it started where I was like, no, no, I don't like where this is going. I was a I'm surprised that he didn't only offer to babysit 15 year olds. That's more along the gist of yeah. that. Yeah. Were there teddy bears involved? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't want to know. <laughs> He's withdrawn. I can't, <laughs> can't reach him right now. <laughs> He'll be back. He always comes back. He always resurfaces, unfortunately. Yo, you can't keep me under the cover, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Well, maybe, though, uh, I, I, I like that um that you, series you were talking about with, um you mentioned, like, movies and media being responsible. Because, like, we just saw, we just saw, Joker a few weeks mm. ago, and I was fucked up for hours after seeing that. I don't know if you saw it, but... Right? Oh, my God. I haven't seen it yet, but, you know, multiple people I know, and some who are even just acquaintances, have told me, hey, have you seen Joker yet? You would really get it. So I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean, but I'll get around to it. I don't... Maybe I'm disturbed already on the appropriate level. I wouldn't I, say that. I just it, it's 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 a masterpiece of mental illness. Like total I was gonna say, illness. it's almost like those friends are telling you you have some kind of mm. mental illness, and you that's probably what, should just like cut those friends that's out. That's what I feel like. <laughs> 
I feel like you maybe should stab you know? them. I don't know. Or get a kid to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I figured I would wait to make the decision until after I made the movie, after I saw the movie. Yeah. So maybe then I'll get what they're saying. So we'll see if they have to go. I don't know, um, though. Not permanently. I feel not like it would connect with you, like, in the story, just like it's, it's somebody you could run into on an everyday yeah. situation. Like, that's... that's it's, so how much of it was Joaquin Phoenix's acting? I'd say 90%. Like, only yeah, at the very end did it become... Phenomenal. Only at the end did it become, like, the Joker. Like, it was like, most of it is just like, mm. yeah. Like, And one of my buddies, Michael, at work said, um, even Jack Nicholson, like, gave him advice like don't get f- too far into the character because it fucked me up like jack nicholson's joker was nothing compared to this joker this joker mm-hmm. was like oh right and look what it did to heath yes he never recovered yes like i feel like if he's you know? not in therapy right now joaquin phoenix like i, I don't know he's a problem <laughs> he's probably doing that shit yeah because that so, movie fucked here's the problem. most disturbing part is that this is all based on like a comic book right yeah. like is that supposed to be for children didn't comic books start out being for kids? Right. How did we get this twisted? Yeah. This is what yeah. happens when you let adults touch stuff. Yeah. Yeah, don't touch me, adults. Don't well, I also me. think it was like the comic books starting out for kids, and then the yes. kids that grew up with comic yes. books, they wanted something that appealed to them as adults. Yeah. So that's where you yeah, get sort of the darker comics. That's where the explicit rating comes in, and nobody, nobody, nobody looks. Nobody looks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never collected comic books because I wasn't responsible enough to take care of anything especially something you read if i was going to read something it's going by the pool with me in the bathtub to the beach like it's not going to be kept in any kind of pristine condition that's why i could never get into any kind of reading material you had to keep in a bag (laughs) that's why kids shouldn't have smartphones because i feel like they're going to be on it in the toilet and they're going to get pink eye and they're going to spread they're going to spread pink eye pink eye everywhere hashtag pink eye everywhere that's a new drizz song (laughs) but Guy everywhere. War Baby, I don't know. I think in our first interview, I mentioned a stabbing in my town when I grew up. And I have an article I found last night. You can see how brown this article is because it's old. It's old. It's from the 80s. And this was, and I know I've mentioned it on the show, but I don't think I mentioned it to you. One day after, okay. uh, one day after high school, me and my buddy Rich were going to get cheese fries at the f- deli right next door from the school. And, and, He's driving real slow because there's a guy limping across the parking lot and he just lays on the horn. And I'm like, get the fuck out of the way. And it's, uh, <laughs> we realized the guy was holding his, like, uh, his stomach. And then it ended up being our buddy who got stabbed by a classmate. By a classmate. And I found the article. I found the article here. Harassment cited in stabbing is called. And, uh, like I said, this was, uh, this was high school. The mother of a 16-year-old girl accused of stabbing a fellow student told a judge Friday that the victim had been harassing her daughter for months and that she carried the knife for protection. Uh, she had been attacked more than once at the school, the woman told the Superior Court judge, blah, 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 and Hackensack. The, uh, she, kept, she kept telling the teachers about it, but they didn't do anything. But the mother of the 15-year-old sophomore, uh, who was the guy, who was stabbed once in the stomach during the street brawl Thursday, said it was the girl who had been harassing her son, which is the story I heard. She had been, like, constantly, like, uh, nagging him for a date, and he was like, no, you're ugly. Like, I'm not going to date you. Um, So she was, like, obsessed. He told me she'd been threatening him. Uh, his mother uh, said from the bedside uh, at the medical center where the boy is listed in good condition is the surgery. She said a lot of things. He she said a lot of things about his girlfriend. So he, like he actually had a girlfriend. Police said the girl used a six inch knife with a three inch blade. The weapon was recovered. Another student who was trying to separate the alleged attacker and the victim was slashed across two fingers. Blah 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 blah. Uh, meanwhile. Uh, the accused teenager was remained in, uh, the juvenile detention center in Paramus pending the court hearing. And it also said when, uh, she showed up for the court hearing, they, they asked her, like, do you understand all these charges against you? And she just said yes. Like, it was, it was, it was fucking weird. <laughs> fucking weird. But yeah, and it was her first offense, it said, so I guess, uh, do you get let off? Oh, well, thank, well, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. And here's what I have to say about this. 
this is why taking away people's guns will never work. We'll just start stabbing each other again. And to be honest, it's easier. I agree. She got the knife from you know? cooking class. She got the knife from cooking class. Like that was like. Yeah. See how easy it is to get a knife. Yeah. This is why gun Home control act. will never work in this country. We'll just do something well, else. That's Run what people happened. over like one. I feel like that's what what, yeah, we'll what start... England has become. Like England, yeah, guns are illegal, but yeah, you see stabbings and all that shit. Like yeah, and especially. Oh, so many stabbings, and there's you. I, I always keep saying there's going to be an in, you know an increase in people just driving cars into crowds of people. Yes, it's just such an easy way to take yeah. people out. You know what yeah. I mean? Guns yeah. are not an easy way to take people out. No, you have to be precise. You have to you have to aim. Like yeah, that's you gotta breathe. I mean, to you gotta stab, hold your breath. You have to get close, but I mean, yeah, it's not hard to get close to somebody. Stabbing his eyes. People get way too close to me all the time. <laughs> I could easily stab them. They wouldn't even know what happened. Well, stabbing or a mauling, I feel is like more uh, an act of uh, love because I uh, there's precise thoughts. There's well, precise thoughts. Yeah, baby. There's passion involved. Yes. War baby, after what you just said, I understand why your friends are telling you that you will connect with the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Slim, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're, so, you're so nice. You don't, have to, you don't have to try to flatter me. Slim's going to call you after the show, War baby. <laughs> yeah. Already give me one of those stabbings, okay. War baby. <laughs> Isabella's not here. No teddy bears are here. The Driz will be calling you, War baby. <laughs> Goddamn. Goddamn. What, um. <laughs> I mean, what do you guys think, though? Do you think that violent content could really just take a sane person? Like, okay, I did I an episode about that. Halo 3. I mean, Halo? I mean, come on now. Like, it might make you want to slaughter a bunch of aliens, but I can't really see even being obsessed with Halo making you want to kill humans. That's not even what you're doing in that game. I agree. Um, like my ten-year-old son will play. Uh, what's that one? Fortnite. And yeah, you're running around, you're shooting people, but you're you're in like forts. It's like I don't know. I don't know what. It's, it's really comical. Like yeah, I don't. I don't think it's. I think only if the psycho, like the sociopathic tendencies are there already, that I think that type of media can yeah. inspire more in you if you're already a psychopath. If you've already Plus, thought of killing yeah. people and then you're watching like, a I know horror my son, film, I know what he's uh, uh, yeah. capable of watching or playing. So, and uh, like like we were saying earlier, like I'm really involved, and I know my ex wife is involved with like what he's into like she'll even ask me now and then yeah. like um is this game okay for him and i'm like i i think that one is or like where after we saw joker i texted her and i'm like if any of the boys want to see joker it's a no it's a solid no like <laughs> like we yeah. have communication yeah they're gonna have that. to wait a few more years yeah like yeah i don't even know i don't even know like i said it fucked me up so much i don't even know if an 18 year old like i wouldn't even want him but if they do they do right they, they watch should it. have yeah. like a disclaimer i mean it could trigger people yeah you know it really could trigger people to spiral but here's the thing about psychopaths they're so much smarter they're, they're really smart usually yes. i just can't even imagine a psychopath using that lame ass excuse the only per the only people i could see ever trying this defense and i generally have i mean some adults have blamed blamed it on their obsessions but kids are probably the only ones but yeah, no one's so even gotten away with using that as an excuse yeah so kids nobody are, cares kids are yeah they're dumb they're dumb they do dumb things they're they're so cute though they're so cute and dumb they're just little kids like they they can yeah, they, they can get away all with the it time. but yeah an adult yeah no you're 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 going you're going to dead death row <laughs> yeah, I don't care how how hash you know how quote unquote crazy you are, which is not even a term that I use. Uh, how crazy you want to say you are? Mm. Are you stupid? I mean, <laughs> you might want to feign unintelligence before you feign mental illness when it comes to this. You know what I right. mean? Because that's just stupid. Yes, yes. So I'm yes. sorry. I've never watched Dexter and thought, huh? Maybe I'll make a kill room, lure someone over there, drug them tape them to a table. You know, no, I've never had that thought. You know, who would? That's who too much effort. so much work. I'm so lazy. I have so many things to do. Who has the time to lay all that plastic around? It's ridiculous. I just wanted the pressure drink after work. I just, I just yeah, want to get drunk. exactly. There's things to do, like sit in a chair yeah. and not move. I want to drink and watch, uh, and watch the Dexter. That's all I want to do. 
Dexter, or we can watch American Ninja Warrior. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, like, you know, and get in on some of those pecs or whatever Sadie was talking about. <laughs> I don't know, like, just, like something about so, deltoids or something. <laughs> we're all getting on those pecs. We're all getting on those. Yeah, but we're not, you know, but sane people, sane people are not planning how they're going to kill somebody like, no. you know, the guy in American Psycho. It's yeah. just, that's no. not something... But yes. that doesn't mean you can claim temporary insanity either, because that's not going to work either. You'd really have to be just fully some type of insane yeah. all the time for yeah. anyone to even buy that crap. Yeah. So do you think then a kid that like copycats a movie, like maybe he's doing that as a way because he's smart enough to know like, oh, I could just claim well, that the movie made me do it. I don't feel it. that. I was going to ask though, like as far as that went, is it Ugh, more a of... A regular kid? Yeah. Smart enough? No, doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I was going to ask though. But, with you the... know, kids copycat. Remember when kids were laying in the street because of that movie Friday Night Lights? Yes. Oh. Yes. Like in the middle they of the road. They copycat everything. Yes. Oh, what was the thing and we did they, as kids? They, I, I'm 31, uh, War Baby. We did a thing. It was some witch movie, Stiff as a Board. Oh, that's such a daisy. Yeah, I don't know. There's some <laughs> something that we copied all the time. A lot of the movie shit, like we would do that, was like the supernatural stuff. Like there was that one. We our generation was like obsessed with witches, so all the girls thought they had witchcraft and could, could do spells people. and could levitate people. Yeah, stiff as stiff as a board, light as a feather. That shit, light like jerk off your cousin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you're not trying to kill each other. Yeah, like you're uh, not dumb enough to think that you're not. <laughs> Some of the defenses have been like, have tried to lean toward, oh, this is, I can't even believe I'm going to say this. Re, you know how characters in video games respawn? Yeah. So defense attorneys want to lead people to believe that these, you know, some of these children may think that they might kill them today and then they're going to respawn. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no that's. Nobody dumb. thinks that. That's a yeah. defense? Wow. I can't believe that that's, that's terrible. a defense a lawyer Oh, would use. man. Like, you know, defense attorneys will try anything and so will prosecutors. Yeah. Yeah, they will literally say the craziest shit. That should so. be a Bill Cosby. That's how Bill Cosby should come back. Prosecutors say the craziest shit <laughs> on Fox. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Everybody gets a quaalude at the beginning of every episode. A quaalude and acquitted. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're going somewhere with that. We're going to hell. And uh, maybe <laughs> also, yeah, going to hell. But maybe also we'll work on that script about the Krispies. Oh. That one would be, I wouldn't mind, but I would not watch the Clumpies. I'm just letting you know. And oh. once Isaac said it should take place behind an ice cream shop, ugh, no, you're ruining my life. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of the Clumpies. What was the but Krispies again? Too. Oh, the Krispies is the bacon and the Clappies. The Clappy. Mm-hmm. What and the Clappy. Yeah, I watch Clappy. <laughs> Yo, I'd write Clappy. Yes. Let's collab. Let's collab on <laughs> Clappy. Yes, that Clappy. We're as long be- as one of the characters is elderly and is also wearing a life alert. Of course. Then we're going somewhere. That was <laughs> sponsored by Life Alert. Exactly. The audience, we get, that's the demographic we should be after with this. I've fallen and I can't get up. Yeah, yeah. They're going to love it too. <laughs> they're scared. They're scared of everything. That's Clappy's favorite target they can't even move <laughs> barely has to do anything <laughs> <laughs> shit We're gonna I, I, I like that clappy just kind of praise on stupidity though like he put a toaster in a bathtub <laughs> and the guy was like oh let me take a bath and clappy's that, like gotcha motherfucker that guy might have been drunk that guy <laughs> might have been you why else would the toaster be there <laughs> somebody has to get it out right whoa somebody's making me breakfast and a bath breakfast and bath <laughs> that's like, love <laughs> that's absolute love that's love tricity i'll suggest that to writer doll for um valentine's day if she's like i don't know what to get rob be like here's what you gotta do i was thinking it'd be one of her new audios that could be one of writer's new audios valentricity it'll be so romantic <laughs> with rob <laughs> god damn you're the best one baby we love you we're gonna everybody find you you can find me wherever you listen to any kind of podcast that you might listen to. I'm there under Murderous Minors. I'm on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, at Killer Kids Pod. Damn, that's a lot. There's a lot of socials, but you are there, War Baby. We'll definitely talk I'm soon. grinding it. Yes, you are. You are. Keep grinding. 
All right, boys. Have a good Halloween. I'll talk to you next time. You too. You Happy, too. Happy Halloween. Halloween. War, baby. Happy Halloween, everybody.